chicken tenders. Now that I have all you hungry folks' attention, we're going to be talking a bit today about beginnings and endings. Now, it is important that your beginnings and endings, that your beginnings capture your audience's attention, and that you have a nice dynamic end, one that wraps things up quite nicely. Welcome everyone, my name is Sam, and today we'll be going over some more speaking tips. Now, your beginning can be really anything. It can be surprising, it can be a smooth transition, but you do want to grab your audience's attention. This could be with a fun fact, something relevant to your point. It could be with something completely random, like me talking about chicken tenders. It doesn't really matter what it is, so long as it serves the purpose of fixating your audience. Now, the important thing is that whatever you do has to be purposeful and have a meaning within your speech. For example, I did something random to demonstrate the fact that randomness is a portion you can do something within your speech. And while my speech may not relate to chicken tenders necessarily, it is a random attention grabber, so it's an example, so it's something that is good to use. And for your endings, you're going to want something concise, something efficient. So thank you everyone for coming today. This section of Speaking Tips was brought to us by Majori North. I'd like to thank everyone for tuning in to me as always. And one thing you may not know is that chicken tenders are a delicious food. There, in theory, I would have I would have like made the ending. See, and it's like it's like a bookend because because I talked about chicken tenders at the ending and and the beginning. But we'll do our actual ending now and to say thank you so much for tuning in to Sam's Speaking Tips. I hope you all have a great rest of your day.